Hello and welcome to All Your Tech. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the future of 3D printing and how we might one day achieve an atomic replicator. Now, I don't know about you, but I grew up watching shows like Star Trek where atomic replicators were just a given in science fiction. The ability to create almost any object out of seemingly thin air seemed like this magical thing that would never actually happen and the closest thing we have today to that is 3D printing. But the way I think about 3D printing, it's almost like the old dot matrix printers. If you remember those back in the 80s, maybe even early 90s, they used to have very low resolution and they were incapable of creating very complex images that we can do today using something like an off-the-shelf laser printer that most people have in their home office. 3D printing is the same way. Right now we're using these somewhat large layer lines. We're using these somewhat low resolution printers in the scheme of things to create these three-dimensional objects that while really cool and having some practical use cases like building houses or manufacturing cars or even rocket parts, it's still a far cry from being able to instantly replicate and produce almost anything from scratch. 3D printer is a machine that creates physical objects from a digital file. And it does this by building them layer by layer using various materials such as plastics, metals, and even some types of ceramics. There's several different types of 3D printing technologies, but the most common is called fused deposition modeling or FDM for short. In an FDM printer, a nozzle is used to deposit layers of melted plastic or other materials, building up the object one layer at a time. The nozzle is typically guided by a set of motors and sensors that move it along the X, Y, and even Z axis, allowing it to create objects of almost any shape. And once the object is complete, it's typically allowed to cool and solidify before being removed from the print bed. The final result is an object that's exact replica of the digital design that you started with. And while 3D printing has come a long way in recent years, it's still limited by the size and the resolution of the objects that it can create. However, as technology continues to advance, it's likely we'll see significant improvements in the capabilities of 3D printers. But what if we could take 3D printing to the next level and create objects from raw materials at the atomic level? This is the ultimate goal for many in the field of 3D printing. An atomic replicator is a hypothetical machine that would be able to create objects from raw materials at the atomic level. In other words, it would be able to manipulate matter at the atomic and molecular level to create almost any object imaginable. Now, the exact details of how an atomic replicator might work are still largely theoretical as this technology hasn't been developed yet. However, there are several potential approaches that could be used to create such a device. One approach could involve using a beam of ions or atoms to selectively deposit material onto a substrate, building up the object layer by layer at the atomic scale, similar to how a 3D printer works. Another approach could involve using lasers or other types of energy to rearrange atoms and molecules in a highly precise matter, allowing for the creation of complex structures and patterns. Regardless of the specific method used, an atomic replicator would likely require a high level of precision and control in order to manipulate matter at such a small scale. It would also need to be able to handle a wide range of materials and to be able to create objects with a variety of different physical properties. And while the concept of an atomic replicator is still largely theoretical, it represents an exciting possibility for the future of manufacturing and product development. And as technology and our understanding of materials and atomic level processes continue to advance, it's likely that we'll see significant progress in this area. Despite these challenges, there are many researchers and companies working towards the goal of building an atomic replicator. Advances in materials, science, and nanotechnology have brought us even closer to this goal, and it's only a matter of time before we see significant progress 
in this area. The future of 3D printing is bright and the potential for an atomic replicator could completely revolutionize the way we manufacture and produce goods. And while there's still many challenges to overcome, the potential benefits make it a goal worth striving for. As always, thanks for watching All Your Tech. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.